So, who detests the Tories then? Well, here's Tory MP Lucy Fraser on her maiden speech, perhaps giving Nicola Sturgeon and, frankly, every Scot a reason why. <laughs> and it was the home of Oliver Cromwell, who defeated the Scots at Dunbar, incorporated Scotland into his protectorate, and transported the Scots as slaves to the colonies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, there's an answer to the West Lothian question. <laughs> and if Sturgeon herself needed further reason, then remember Liz Truss's opinion of her just a month ago. And I think the best thing to do with Nicola Sturgeon is ignore her. I think she's... I think... difficult when she's first minister though. She's, she's got a democratically elected position yeah, just yeah. as you would. I'm sorry she's an attention seeker Seb. That's what she is. I mean let's face it the Tories are absolutely horrible due to the damage done to ordinary people's lives by their actions and as such amongst ordinary people. They've given us numerous reasons as to why we might detest them which I think was quite a polite way of putting it from Sturgeon. I absolutely hate the party. Personally 12 years of them in power has shot my mental health as an unpaid carer and a detrimental impact on those I care for not least of which due to the terrifying assessments the DWP demand of them trying to find them fit for work trying to strip them of the support they need and even now with Liz Truss wanting to stop benefits being uprated in line with inflation, despite many claimants being in work, never mind disabled. But back to Nicola Sturgeon, because for all the talk of detesting Tories, for all the reasons people have given for doing so themselves, this conversation has been triggered, not in the Tories' favour mostly either, and it's made for great free publicity for Sturgeon, even if her comment has been completely taken out of context, because she actually says she detests their policies and everything they stand for. She didn't make it personal or about members whatsoever, despite the snowflake responses from many Tories afterwards. If it offends Tories so much to be detested, ask yourselves what reason people have to do so. Because if you think you're the good guys in all of this, you aren't. I have never voted Tory, and as sure as death and taxes, I never, ever will. Whatever colour they drape themselves in. And you really do need to ask yourselves why that is, because I'm far from alone. <laughs>